And welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. I'm Andrew Kraft. We're switching gears to turn our attention uh, to the southern border here. Take a look at some of this video. Uh, well, this is what we know. There's been a lot of talk surrounding President-elect Trump's mass deportation plans. And now a new group of 1,500 people is headed to the southern U.S. border, reportedly trying to get there before Trump's second term begins. So for crazy. more on this new caravan, this we're going to be joined by Auden Cabello. He's an independent journalist who covers the border and immigration, uh, and he joins me. Um, Auden, thanks for being with us here. I know you cover this very, very closely. If I wanted you to go ask, back though, and you look at this previous scene. Joins me. Um, Auden, thanks for being. The police is not even doing anything. They've recently elected a Mexican woman, Claudia Scheinbaum, who's supposed to be a doctor and very intelligent. She was at the G20 summit with Biden. And while Biden is supposed to be making sure that he hold the line prior to Trump getting into office, he's over there getting lost in the forest while also getting finessed into pressing a button against Russia via Ukraine. And Ukraine called him out perfectly. He said, listen, I mean, not Ukraine, Russia. Uh, using Ukraine against Russia, Russia called him out perfectly and they said, listen, there's no way that they can use these attackums and all of this military equipment and certain things that takes American programming in order for them to even be able to get to target certain things, right? This takes American expertise for them to be able to do certain things. And so while he's pushing the button, Claudia Scheinbaum is at the G20 summit taking the picture, which Biden missed the first one, and then they letting all of their police is just letting them walk straight into the border. And he's supposed to be making sure that things, there's a peaceful transition of power. But what they're doing is all of the things that we held them accountable for during the election, they just letting it fly. They just letting everything go and go bad before Trump gets into office. Being with us here, I know you cover this very, very closely. I wanted to ask, though, where is this group now uh, on their journey? Yeah, so this is the uh, sixth caravan that, that has left um, since Claudia Sheinbaum became president of Mexico. Five have left Tapachula and one left uh, Tuxla Gutierrez, all in the state of uh, Chiapas. This particular one uh, left this morning uh, out of Tapachula. And their goal is to reach central Mexico, um, more specifically Mexico City, which is a sanctuary city. And just north of there, that's where they hop on the freight train, La Bestia. And that's how they make it to border towns like Piedras Negras and cross Thousands to Eagle Pass, people. something we saw in all of 2023 when we saw those mass groups crossing there. They were all arriving in uh, on train to Piedras Negras by the hundreds and occasionally on, by the thousands. And um, talking to some of these migrants um, in these caravans, um, now that they've realized that President Trump is coming into office, um, it's having a, a the effect that was uh, somewhat unexpected. They're not going to go back to their country of origin. They feel the pressure of making it to the U.S. border and into the U.S. Uh, before Inauguration Day, uh, hoping that can, they can still make it under the Biden administration and, and be accepted into the country. Now, a couple different points here. First, this shows that they look at Trump as a true leader, as the world looks at Trump, as somebody that is no nonsense and you're going to have to abide by the rules before you come here, because let's be clear, coming here and crossing over the way that they've been crossing over is illegal. And so that then makes you a criminal because you're breaking the law. You can't do this in any other part of the world. Canada is right across the street. I can't even just walk straight into Canada and just do what I want to do without any kind of problems as an American, let alone them just coming up here straight up through Mexico and they'll travel to Mexico to get up to the United States of America. And what do you think? You think that Mexico is just saying, hey, listen, if y'all don't get in, y'all can stay here. That's not what's happening. So they look at Biden as weak. They look at Biden and when Kamala Harris was walking around during the presidential election and she was saying, hey, listen, that's not what we're doing. We're closing off the borders. That's why I don't believe Democrats. That's why I don't rock with the Democratic plantation anymore. That's why I'm not ever rolling with what they got to say because it makes no sense. They're not doing the thing that they say that they're doing, but at the same time, it's unfortunate because you as the taxpayers, you're the ones that's got to pay for it. Now, they'll get them over here and then they'll say, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's inhumane to deport them or it's inhumane or it's gonna cost taxpayer dollars to deport them. It's costing us an arm and a leg 
to have people here that's not supposed to be here and we don't have the infrastructure, we don't have the jobs, we don't have the availability, we don't have the, the police to be able to find these people. And so you have to cut it off and then you have to start deporting people that's not supposed to be here and do what you're supposed to do. That's how we're supposed to play it. This is unfortunate, man. This is silly. This is silly what we're looking at right here. Okay, but with that logic, though, uh, President-elect Donald Trump has said that every person here illegally and undocumented uh, will be deported by however way or means there. Uh, that's words from President-elect Trump. So based on that logic, why are they still coming? Why are these people still forming these caravans trying to get to the United States uh, with those designs, with those plans? Um, being put in place here. Stephen Miller, who's going to be a key policy advisor in the next Trump term, said on Fox News uh, a couple of days ago that this is priority number one on day one. So why? Yeah, so I've been to Tapachula and I've spoken to, to a lot of these migrants and gotten to, to know their thinking, their thought process. And Tapachula is ground zero for the migrants. And, and there's a differenti differentiation that needs to be made uh, there in, in Tapachula with the migrants. Um, there's some that um, once you know where they're coming from and their economic status, you know where, where they're gonna cross and how they're gonna cross. So for example, those with the resources will pay the organized crime. And most of them were crossing, um, they were flying into border towns like Mexicali, Monterrey, and uh, they, they would cross in different border towns. Uh, the ones we're seeing in caravans, uh, they're the poorest of the poor. They, they've sold whatever they had back in their country of origin. They don't have anything. Um, and that's why they're going from um, shelter to shelter, NGO to NGO. And um, at this point, they sold everything. And their thinking is, um, I have no other goal in, in life right now uh, than to make it into the U.S. and give it a shot. And if I get deported, well, then it's it's going to be on their dime, meaning the U.S. Uh, taxpayer is going to pay for it, and they don't have to go back um, with their resources. That that's their logic, that's their thinking. And right now, it's it, they're running out of time, and and that's why they're going to make a mad rush uh, to the border. Something that I've been uh, reporting. Yeah, Auden, I want to talk. And you gonna have to pay for it. That's the sentiment. Hey, listen, I ain't got nothing else to lose. Instead of focusing on making my own country great again and holding our legislators accountable to doing the right thing and making sure that we get our stuff together, what we gonna do is we gonna come over to the United States of America and we gonna make America whatever we wanna make it. We gonna bring our country here. We gonna be, bring our culture here and then we gonna advocate for it and force legislators to have to abide by our rules once our children get old enough to become citizens and they vote. And then we gonna turn American culture into our culture and then make your country what our country is now, worst case scenario, I don't get in. So you got to deport me using American taxpayer dollars. The fact that they feel compelled to walk over here without any consequences is a problem. Because again, you cannot do this in other countries. They do not play it. And they will hold you accountable for walking over here with size 12 shoes and tearing up and doing things that you're not supposed to do. And it's unfortunate because we not only is our legislators weak as far as on the Democratic side, because those are the people that's in office as a recording of this video, but the people that elected them are weak also. No matter who gets in office, even though Trump absolutely mopped the floor with her in every battleground state where it mattered, half the country is still supporting this administration and supporting the decisions that they're making and think that this is cool or they're putting their heads in the sand or putting it under the cover and acting like that it's not happening. Half of us, at least. I'd love to know what you guys think. Make sure you tap into the Patreon link is in the description and get your tickets. December 14th, come kick it with your boy in Detroit. It's going to be awesome. I love you. I appreciate you. And T. Chanley, 40% off your first order plus 20% off for life. All of those links is in the, uh, in the description. Discount code and time for your tickets. Let me know what you think, man.